Hi everyone, it's me, Sun Hope, and today I wanted to do a showing off my Star Wars collection. Oh, I forgot one thing. Alright, I just got everything I needed for this video. Um, I actually want to sh start off by showing off um, my Raylo posters. Although these are like wallpapers hung up on my wall. I consider them part of my Star Wars collection. This is my Rise of Skywalker um, poster. Um, it is the only poster of the sequel trilogy that I have. I had another one, but um, when I was moving bedrooms, it got ripped by a pet that um, was playing with it and um, it got ripped. So this is the only sequel poster that I have of the sequel trilogy. And over here we got a poster of a fan art that I got from Walmart. I also got the Rise of Skywalker wallpaper from Walmart of the but this is fan art of the mixture of the prequels and the original trilogy together. <laughs> Looking like a crew photo. You can see baby Anakin and Yoda and like Vader and just of the original six movies together. None of the sequel trilogy characters are involved, but this was probably made before the sequels were even a thought. And over here we have the First Order canvas. This is not something I got off of Walmart. There's a thrift store, thrift store, not thrift store, thrift store near where I live. And I got this. It's a canvas. And it's just showing Kylo Ren and Phasma and Stormtroopers and everything that's got to do with the Force Order. Although there's no snow or hoax, it, it's okay with me because they're not my favorite characters from the First Order side. And starting enough, I'm going to start with my books before I show the rest of my collection. Um, this is a book that I got from the same thrift store. Why do I keep saying thrift store? Thrift store that I got in my Kylo Ren First Order um, poster, canvas. This is from the Legends timeline. This is not the sequel trilogy timeline. Or what you, what Disney calls the canon verse. I have not finished it. But when I bought it, the back was torn off. So you can tell that whoever owned this definitely kind of worn it out. But I always wanted to read as much as I could with the alternate universe with Mara Jade and stuff. And like Darth Revan. But this is definitely a good book. I like it and the 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 um cover of it is definitely pretty, I think. But this is from the um from the legends or alternate universe timeline where there's no Kylo Ren, no Rey, no Ben Poe, whatnot, no Ben Solo. Although, Disney has not confirmed this, but the Legends and the sequel timelines are very similar. Although there is a lot of differences, um, I do notice some similarities to the um, timelines, both timelines. And this one is basically Revenge of... of this is basically a book between um, two and three. This this is a must-read prequel to the Star Wars Episode Three: Revenge of the Sith. So this is a prequel to Revenge of the Sith. Um, I highly recommend this book. I got this book also from the thrift sh store, and um, I don't know if it's considered canon or not, but it's between two and three, so that's something. 
I do want to, however, I'm sorry, something dropped. I do ever, who, however, want to, to share this book. This is the Love Hypothesis, although it's not a Star Wars book. I do want to share this because this is basically um, published regular fan fiction, but they changed the names to Olive and Adam. But I thought this was worth a mention because um, it was regular fan fiction turned published. A lot of books have been. I've heard there was a lot of other. There's other fan fictions that have now been turned into published books, not just this one. But I thought that was worth a mention. Now, another book that I have. I actually have two more Star Wars books. It's just I ordered two of my newest ones only one of them has come come to my house um this is the force awakens book this basically is the extended version of the movie because e each movie is two hours long um they can't just make like a four hour movie so this book definitely makes up for it i just started reading today because i arrived today and i am Hold on. 85 pages in. And this book it is 301 pages long. But there's two short stories connected to this. Although I am almost halfway through The Force Awakens. I, I am debating on just reading the um, short stories along with it. Like right after. Or just not reading them at all. Or reading them in another day. Because... Um, I'm not really interested a whole lot in between movie plots, although there's very few books that I actually do like between books. Um, I'm just not into anything between the sequels for whatever reason. I tried to get into a book with online with a plot between, I think it was The Last Jedi and The Rise of Skywalker, and I couldn't get into it online, so I just... I don't know why, cause I, cause I enjoy, to, I enjoy the Revenge of the Sith one, but I don't enjoy any other between books, if that makes any sense. And but I do enjoy the alternate universe, the Legends universe that is not considered canon because of Disney. Um, the second book that I ordered the other day, the same day that I ordered The Force Awakens, um, is The Last Jedi expanded. Edition, basically an extended version of the Last Jedi movie. I have not read that yet because I don't have it yet, and I want to finish The Force Awakens first. But so far, I am enjoying enjoying the book. Um, now I want to show you some action figures that I have of um Star Wars. Although I accidentally dropped one, so I'm the hold on a sec. Okay. I have what I need. I put the books aside so that I can make room for the rest of my collection. Now, action figure wise, I know that figures like these are connected to a certain game. I think it's on Wii. I believe. I don't know. Um, I remember seeing commercials as a little kid when I wasn't a Star Wars fan of th these little things. But I don't have the game. For me, this is just an action figure that I collect. And this is obviously Yoda. Next, we have Princess Leia. And this is what she looks like. And then we have Anakin Skywalker. And then we have our 2D2. And then we have, I think my favorites, my favorites, like of my collection so far, my action figure collections, or my, um, whatever you call these, these pop things. Um, I have a Kylo Ren pop uh thing um i think this is the last jedi one where he 
doesn't destroy the mask yet. So this is obviously not the Rise of Skywalker Kylo mask one, but this is, but this is the only like look he has of without his like cloak covering his helmet was in the Last Jedi. So I just assumed that it came. It's the Last Jedi Kylo, and we have Kylo Ren. Kylo Ren. I got this one yesterday, um, at a restaurant, um, I got this, I don't remember if I got the one with the mask, at, either at Walmart or at the thrift store that I went to, but I know for certain that I got Ben Solo, you know, when he turns good, at the thrift store, at, not the thrift store, the Walmart, I don't, I don't know which one, which one of the other two that I got it from, either from Walmart or the thrift sh thrift sh store. Whatever reason, I can't say store today or thrift store because he you know, like gives me a weird like lisp thing going on. But um, I got the one with at the mask, and he's still kind of running from the from a restaurant. And my doll here. It I got is from the Mandalorian show. I've not actually seen the show, but I love this little guy. I got introduced to the show when it just started, when I just started becoming a Star Wars fan. Um, I remember when the show like aired its first trailer. I think he was very, very is after the Rise of Skywalker came out, I think, when everyone used to debate if it was Baby Yoda or not, and they just called him Baby Yoda. I know he, I know he has a different name, but it's not Yoda, but I'm just calling him Baby Yoda. Because to me, he is Baby Yoda. And because I'm not really interested in, like, shows, Star Wars shows that connect to the nine films, um... Besides the Clone Wars, I've never got into the side stories, like, even the movies. Although, I did watch the Clone Wars movie, but it was only because I was trying to watch... Well, they're not even... It's not even considered a movie because it's just a, it's just a film that's putting together a bunch of episodes together and just calling it a movie. So, I don't know if even if you can call it a movie. If that makes any sense. But the last two of my Star Wars collections that I do have is my lightsabers. This is the Kylo Ren one. Um, although it is hard to get the blades open, this this does not light up. All you gotta do is just this, and it doesn't light up or anything. And then you get the other one that does, although it's not, like, a really, it's not an expensive one. I got this one at Walmart, and I just, you can see it light up, but, okay, it was not open all the way. Oh, I would like to get a cover and light lightsaber that does light up, and then just give away the one that I already have, or, like, sell it. But yeah, this is basically my whole Star Wars collection. Um, I don't have anything else Star Wars related, but I did want to include the Love Hypothesis in my collection and consider it part of, this, of my Star Wars collection, even though it's not a Star Wars book. It was very little fan fiction, and you can tell by the covers that it was. I have not finished that book yet, but I stopped because uh, I wanted to read the force awakens but as soon as i finish the force awakens and get to the last jedi i would just go back to the of hypothesis and just you know leave it at that but i gotta go bye god bless